Welcome to the Department of Agriculture, Food and Marines, New Open Data Portal, open.agriculture.gov.ie. So whether you're a farmer, a policymaker, or a researcher, or just someone interested in learning more about Ireland's agricultural sector, this website has something for everyone. As you can see, we have 30, 30 data sets published to date. Now you can explore the data sets by popular themes, such as animal health and welfare, corporate, sustainable seafood, common agricultural policy, forestry, climate, agri-food trade, land use, and safe food. So for instance, if you wanted to search under the theme Animal Health and Welfare, which you can see we have 15 data sets published, you can click on Animal Health and Welfare, and it will bring you into a list of data sets. So you can order by relevance, name ascending, name descending, ask modified, and popular. So for instance, if you were interested in the National Beef Kill figures, if you click on the National Beef Kill figures, the data uh, is available in three formats. Uh, an XLS, an Excel file, CSV and JSON. The CSV and JSON are two machine readable open data formats. So before downloading the data sets, if for instance you want to explore the data set beforehand, so you click on explore and preview, and this will give you a preview of what the data set looks like. Now under this you have like a, a description of the data set. So this data set is the National Beef Kill figures, which, which are provided by the Department of Agriculture, Food and Marine, by approved processing plants on a weekly basis. Now this data set covers the period from the 30th of December 2019 to the 28th of December 2020, broken down into the following animal carcasses, young, young bull, wool, steer, cow, heifer and veal. So if you wanted to download this data set, you can click on the download here and it will be available in CSV, tab separate file, JSON, XML. Now these are all open data formats and available in machine readable formats. Now if, if you also wanted to download it using the data API, if you click on that API button, it will give you a list of APIs you can download the data set in. For example, you can use JavaScript, you want to download that using the JavaScript, or you can use the Python API. So we got to the home uh, first page again. So the data, the data available on the platform is open and accessible to everyone. So this means researchers, policy makers and farmers and other interested parties can use the data to gain valuable insights to our agricultural sector. Now the data sets available on the platform can be used for a, a wide range of purposes, such as creating visual visualizations, conducting research, developing products and services, or informing policy decisions. And because the data is updated regularly, Users can access the latest information on Ireland's agricultural sector and can stay up to date on the latest trends and developments. So whether you're a farmer looking to improve your yields, a researcher studying the impact of climate change on agriculture, or a policy maker just looking to make a informed decision, this platform has something for everyone. Now if the data is not available, you can put in a request for the data using the request data feature. So I'll walk you through an example here now. So I'll just put in the code. So when, when you put in a request for this data, you have to fill out the following form. So they'll ask you for your name, your institute or organization you're from, your organization type, so we're in some combination of food service activities, all the way down to person or other. Your position within the organization, an email address, and just another email address again, just to validate that it's not a spam email, and choose the type of data you're interested in. So you can then you can provide a contact name if you have one available and specify the required parameters, location and time periods. And choose what discipline the data will be used in. So it opens agriculture, animal health and welfare, economies, environment, logistics planning, renewable energy, research, tourism, marketing and other. And specify how this data will be used. Now if you wish to publish this information, please indicate how and where you publish this data and compare to you're over the age of 16. Then once you hit the submit button, it will be sent into the open data unit within the department where it will be picked up and hopefully we'll be able to retrieve this information for you. Now you can also uh, search for the data set using the search data sets search bar. So, so for instance, if you wanted to search for the uh, national blue corn test results, here is one example that's kept come up. 
ignored by, as I said, relevance name descending, name descending, last mile file and popular. So if you click on the uh, ruminant imports official bureau, you don't test results from 2017 to 2021. Now, as you can see, it's available in, in an Excel file, a CSV and JSON. Now, an Excel uh, is not an open data format, but the CSV and JSON are. Now, alongside the data set, you have a number of metadata fields. So, for instance, the description of this is a blue tongue ELSA test result of ruminants, cattle, sheep, and goats imported into Ireland over the period January 2017 to December 2021. It covers the National Geographic coverage. The contact person is the Open Data Liaison Officer, which can be which they're, they're available at open.agriculture.gov.ie and it's published annually. The date that that set is released and the date that set is updated. A landing page where the, where the data is available on the gov.ie website and then you have their rights notes. Now uh, the rights notes is just an indication of what you can do with this data. So under the license you're free to copy and redistribute material in any medium or format and remix, transform and build upon the material for any purposes even commercially. However in doing so you must give appropriate credit and provide a link to the license and indicate if any changes were made. So you may do so in any reasonable manner, but not in any way that suggests that the Department of Agriculture, Food and Marine endorses you or your use of the data. So visit the platform today and start exploring the data. And if you can't find the data you need, be sure to request it using the data request form. Thank you very much.